Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It is episode 27. Yes, 27. <laughs> and we're continuing our playthrough of Illusion of Guy. We uh, made our way through Angel Village and the Angel Village Dungeon. I'm going to put air quotes on that because that, that was... Uh, that, that wasn't as bad as the, the slog that we went through to get there. Let's just say that. And now it looks like we're heading to Watermia. Water, Watermia. We're, we're heading to a floating city. So uh, let's be careful not to get a heat stroke and head on over to the city. <laughs> Are we going to do a right stuff walk over to the floating city? Are we going to walk over the water too? How does this work? Thought we were headed to a floating city. This does not look like a floating city. All right, but here we are at Watermia. We we up. Oh. Okay, we are on the water. Okay. And there are two red jewels that we need to pick up while we're here. Jim the jeweler is also here, and uh, we'll we'll deal with him. And there's some other fun we're gonna have. So let's uh, let's get right to it. We went to the water city, Watermia. A beautiful town with houses built on rafts. The townspeople have kindly put us up at the house of young Luke. Trust the force, young Luke. Oh, wrong franchise. This is Luke's house. He's a lovable young fisherman. So trusting as to let six strangers into his house. It's a wonder he still has his furniture. Oh wait, no, that's edited. <laughs> I'm going out on a long fishing voyage. You can use my house while I'm gone. No, no, I, I go back to my earlier statement. Uh, yeah. Nice. Hi, guys. All right, so let's talk to everybody first, and then we'll head out. Just double checking. Okay. Um. Where's the two jewels? I don't see that on that paragraph. All right. I I I swear to you, I read all this beforehand. It's that short term. Look, I started the episode having to double check the run sheet for the episode number I was getting ready to do. So, I apologize. Watermia is very pretty, but I've heard a terrible rumor. They play games with human lives. It's the most dangerous game. Dun dun dun! Phrygia was the same way, but beautiful. Things always have another side to them. I heard that Lance saw someone he knew in town. I guess he went to look for him. <laughs> I found something good. Go outside and look behind the house. I feel a little guilty, but... But what? The house on this raft gives me an idea for a new invention. Of course it does. Alright, so that is all that there. Oh, I thought, I thought something was moving. It's the raft. Okay. Take care of my house. Make yourself at home while I'm gone. Yes, of course. Wait, what's this work? Okay, if you search behind the house... Alright, where is it? Oh, don't you look interesting. Oh, 
come on. I hate these games. Oh, there it is. Kara's diary is a secret. Read it. Oh, of course we are. Next month. Next day. After a long journey, we arrived in the floating city, Watermeo. I was parched after the journey. Blisters on my feet, but I wrapped them in my handkerchief. Before, I would have complained, but I didn't say anything. I think I've changed a little. I'm pleased that I can be so concerned with someone else. I've heard the saying from a villager. If you wish over a lotus leaf on a full moon night, your love will notice you. A good saying. Maybe I'll try it. Hmm. Okay. That might be interesting. But what else do we have out here? Oh, we got a... Oh, I guess I can't bring up a dungeon map, huh? Alright. Yeah, yeah. Is this, uh, one of these has a dark portal somewhere, too. Alright. Do you... Will, do you recognize this person? He's my father. I went on an expedition with Ullman. It was scary, but fun. Seriously? He seems to have lost his memory. I finally met my lost father, but... Um, don't I still have a memory thing? Lola's Melody... Melody Melody? Oh. Oh no, the memory Melody is, uh... It's gone. Interesting. Okay. Huh. So he, he found his father. Oop. We'll wait. I'll go too. I'm preparing Lily's birthday party. I want to finish by dark. Let's go to our room. Alright, you can go to the room. I still got more town to... to run around. Alright, uh... I was bitten by a snake when I went to the Great Wall of China. Once the snakes around here bite you, they don't let go. If you're bitten by a snake, you should run around like crazy and it'll let go. Alright, is this one of those one of us is telling the truth and one of us is telling a lie? Because one of y'all is saying that they don't let go and the other is saying if you run around like crazy, it'll let go. I'm just saying. My father's an explorer. Soon he will find the gold ship and come home. Uh, we haven't heard from our father since his last letter six months ago. I hope he's okay. A crazy old man came here two years ago. He just talked about, he talked on, he just talked on about the Tower of Babel. That must be Lysa's father. I would think. All right. Go left and search the... Oh, it's one of these. Yes? Go left from here. Search the north westmost pot for a red jewel. All right. Um... Uh... I guess not. I heard that a huge centipede called Sandfanger lives in the Great Wall of China. They say fluid from its body can cure anything. Hmm. Chinese medicine has many strange things, but drinking an insect's bodily fluids. Soon the baby will be born. Our family goes about their jobs in high spirits. I seem to have caught a little cold. Uh, you can keep that cold over there, man. <laughs> Alright, um... 
There's supposed to be a dark portal off to the northwest. Did I miss something? This is Wardermia. The houses are built on rafts. We like to move around. All right, that is probably how you leave. We drink this water. We cook with it. We wash it. Or wash with it. Water never stays in the same place. It's always moving and cleansing itself. I, we want to live like the water. Well, cleansing is good. Uh, I'll give you that. Um. Okay, that looks kind of like fun. Oh, there's the red jewel. All right. Somebody, somebody, somebody's got a really strange idea northwest. Hey, where's the dude that was on the leaf? There you are. Hey, buddy. This leaf is full. Find another if you want to ride. Well, okay. That's good to know. Um, yada yada. So this one, there's our dark space. Okay. Good. Record what's happened? Yes. Let's record what's happened and continue journey. Yes, let's continue our journey. Let's uh let's also go into the tools and do a quick save state in the emulator as well. Just uh just because. Alright. Now we need to go find the gambling house. That is where Jem the jeweler is and our second red jewel. Um no, I didn't want to go there. Not yet. I will later. <laughs> Alright, so we got those guys. This animal is called a crook. It's good for crossing the desert. It can live without food or water for a long time. Well, that's probably good to know, too. All right. This is a gambling house. A child would have to be very poor to come to this place. Okay. All right. Um. It all. All right. Search the top right pot in this room. And there's our Joe. All right. Let's, uh, even though I think he's in this room somewhere. Betting small money won't make you big money. Of course, if you want to risk your life, you can make a fortune. If you need a lot of money, go to the raft at the outside of this building. Human life is not such a simple thing. You should waste your life on gambling. I am the jeweler gem. Hey, there you are. I'm holding 29 of the red jewels for you. All right. Yeah, we need one more gem. And we're not going to get it here because we found our two gems. All right. Um, is that not going to happen until after the Great Wall? Okay. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, we're going to we're going to do stuff at the gambling house uh next time we end up here. All right, just wanted to see you cuz that's the only way to get out of this conversation. You can still do it. What can he still do? Never mind. I don't want to know. As you can see, it's a drinking contest. They bet on who will win. Life is like a gamble. Make one mistake and you're on the road to ruin. People do that unconsciously. How deeply philosophical of you. All right. So that is pretty much all we're going to do here. We've gone through the town. We talked to everybody. Let's uh, let's head back to Luke's house then.
Okay. That would be here. Yes, that would be here. I'm a leaf upon the wind. Oh, wait, no. That wouldn't bode well. Let's have Lily's birthday party while we're all together. What? Everybody remembered my birthday? Didn't you expect it? Everybody kept it secret to surprise you. Hey, care. Bring that. Okay. Oh. I wouldn't mind a slice of cake right about now, too. Yes! Birthday cake! Neil made it. My first cake. Hmm. Maybe I don't want your first cake. It was harder than building an airplane. Uh, let's move on. All right. Thank you, everyone. I'm the luckiest girl in the world. So began Lily's bir little birthday party. The end of the party. Ah, uh, Lily, can I talk to you for a minute? I'll wait outside. Oh. Huh? I wonder what? Excuse me, everyone. I'll be right back. What? You're not yourself. Relax. You're right. I'm not myself right now. This is your birthday present. I hope you like it. Oh, Lance, a bouquet of roses. That's not what I recommended. Rosebuds, they'll open up into roses. That's still not the recommendation. They smell wonderful. Thank you, they're beautiful. I have another present. Something I want to tell you. What? Yes, the words are harder to say than a tongue twister. Lily. I love you. Oh, if only they'd actually built it up. You don't have to answer right away. But I wanted to tell you how I feel. Um, wait, did she just like peace out? We had no idea what had happened. That day, Lily didn't come back to her room. Yeah, she just, like, up and peaced out. So in the morning, when I awoke, Lance had disappeared. What happened to Lance and Lily? I'm worried. No, no, okay, you're gonna go on about the diary. The house on this raft gives me, okay, yep. All right, um... Okay, I just wanted to double check if this was going to trigger the next thing or give me an option to finish this up and uh, be able to pause the game to, stay, to start the next one. So we find in our inventory Lance's letter. A letter from Lance. Yes, that's... Okay. He opened Lance's letter. I'm going to the Great Wall of China. I intended to keep it secret. But I told Will just in case. I'm putting this letter in his luggage, but he probably won't notice. The townspeople say there's some kind of cure for my father at the Great Wall. It's a long journey, but I'd go anywhere if it would help him. Don't worry about me. P.S. By the way, Lily has left me. Um. Well, okay then. Okay, any, anything new from you guys? Nope. Okay, so we now know that Lance is headed off to the Great Wall of China. That would appear to be our next location to head to. So let me uh, get to... Oh, somewhere is the way out of here. 
eventually. Somewhere. Somehow. Some way. Alright, that is the way out of here. Let me do a quick save. Come on, I can accidentally get in there all day long. But <laughs> record what's happened? Yes, let's record what's happened. Finish recording. Continue your journey? Yes, let's continue our journey. Uh, let's also do a save state just to be sure. And this is where we're also going to go ahead and say thank you for joining along so far. If you're watching live on Twitch, hang tight. There's still more to come. Uh, all the live stream is is me pre-recording the next six episodes of Games Revisited. And we got three more to go by the time before we're done tonight. So hang on for just a little bit. And uh, just a reminder, there's a few different ways you can help the channel out. If you haven't already, follow on Twitch. That way you'll be notified when I go live. I stream this every Thursday at 6 p.m. U.S. Eastern. I also do a another stream on Tuesdays at 6 p.m. called Coffee Craft. That is a Let's Play survival Minecraft server that I run with a couple of friends. CoffeeCraft.us for more on that. And I'm going to try to do some uh, extra streams here and there as time allows. Uh... It's that as time allows part that's been a little bit of a wrinkle. So if you follow on Twitch, you'll know when I go live. And that way you'll be able to catch whatever extra stuff manages to appear. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Even if you only want... It, that's where these episodes get uploaded. Uh, it's where the live stream archives from CoffeeCraft get uploaded and various other uh, bits and bobs and other fun stuff. And... Um, Subscribing is an easy way to help the channel out. And if you want to get notified when new stuff gets posted, then don't forget about the whole bell thing. And get, if you really like the way this is going, give it a thumbs up. And it's a good place to add comments too. And lastly, uh, one other way you can help out is by supporting the show. I'm pretty much running this whole thing out of my back pocket, so if you're really enjoying the content, if you're getting value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Live.anonjunior.com will redirect you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And uh, th there's no set amount because it's a value for value thing, so whatever value you're getting out, consider giving that back, even if it's enough for a fresh cup of coffee, which uh, might, might be my next stop probably going to be my next stop because I keep <laughs> stumbling over this outro. So uh, thank you. Live folks, give me a minute to prep the next episode. And YouTube folks, I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>